is Ulang, a very simple idea and basic implementation of a programming language that I built under 24 hours. Ulang translates your code to JavaScript and it runs on a simple HTML file. Oh crap. So a few days ago, while I was trying to finish my job at Friday 4pm because I didn't work the other days, I suddenly got this idea and threw my job away. So in Ulang, you can declare variables with the hash keyword and you can also do mathematical operations with them just like you can do in other languages. There's also a built-in print function to give some output. To declare constants, use the C hash keyword and for functions, use the F hash keyword. I have changed the signs a little bit. Notice we are using a parenthesis instead of curly braces. Calling functions is just like JavaScript. I haven't changed anything here. You can also write conditional statements. The syntax, I have made them a little bit simpler than JavaScript. Point to note that Eolang is very much sensitive about spaces and line breaks. There is this interesting syntax for declaring loops. And you can also write classes. I have just randomly put it there. All these things are documented in GitHub, so go ahead and check it out. So, it's time for the real question. How you can write your own programming language and kill your super valuable time like me? Look, every programming language needs a compiler or interpreter. This converts your code to something that machine can understand. In your lang, your code is transpiled to JavaScript. This means if you write something in this language, it gets converted to JavaScript, which is further run by the browser. For example, if you write print hello world, it gets converted to console.log hello world. Consider this piece of code. We will go line by line. The first line says hash a equals to 10. The hash keyword indicates that this is a variable. So we can say var and then the name of the variable a and the rest of it, which should be the same. Now we just repeat the very same process for every line and convert the whole code to JavaScript. Once done, run the JavaScript code and you should get the desired output. Here is my implementation of this idea. I start off by declaring variable to hold my transpiled codes. Then I split the lines and iterate through them. Now we need to detect the syntax and generate equivalent code for each line. I have used rejects for this task. In this particular example, we are creating the print function. And this is the whole implementation of it. After processing all the lines, we can evaluate the final string, which will be run by the browser. And now, there is only one thing left, the speed test.